episode of Ask Todd. Hi, I'm Todd Malloy. My intent and my purpose is to be a solution to the ills of society, and this is my offering to the world to give you an opportunity to ask me a question regarding relationships, either personal, intimate, intimacy, and or sex. The reason that I do this is that I've found that life is very fragile, and we are oftentimes have the opportunity to really live a life worth celebrating because of varying reasons, emotional distress, just think, thinking people don't understand. Well, this is an opportunity anonymously where you can ask a question and allow me to facilitate you living a life worth celebrating. Again, as I shared, my purpose and my meaning is to be a part of the solution to the ills of society and facilitating you to be successful through the varying transitions of life. So without further ado, Today's question from Benta is, what are some healthy ways to diffuse an argument? Number one is don't get into one. We have an option and a choice to engage or not. Just because someone's adversarial, just because someone's yelling and screaming doesn't mean we can join it. We, ha- we choose to join in and we don't have to. Walking away, surrendering is not, is not, a, we- is not a sign of weakness. Actually, it's a it's an appropriate method to say, hey, this is not something that I want to participate in and that this is going to be contrary to how I want to feel. So you can use every measure to say, hey, let me ask you a question. Why do you feel the way that you do? Why? You know, I don't want to have a hostile experience, so I want to hear what you're saying. That's why I'm standing here. So, hey, help me understand what you're saying. But if you can take it down, it would help me so I can be of best service to you. Very simple, very relaxed, very matter of fact. Keeping the matter of fact tone facilitates your brain staying intact so the rational part of your brain, the prefrontal cortex of the brain, will actually stay engaged to have a healthy conversation. Think about it this way. At which point you're flooded, at which point you get into a car, mentally flooded, or you get into a car, you hear a loud noise, you immediately turn the noise down because it's too much, it becomes overwhelming. That happens when we're arguing with people. So by you maintaining calmness and speaking matter of fact will actually allow you to get to the solution a lot sooner. Also, I'd like to encourage you to own your experience. Just because someone wants to be adversarial, someone starts to be, wants to argue with you, doesn't mean that you have to be offended. We own our own experience. We choose emotions. No one forces us to have an emotion. Take ownership for your experience, communicate that with your partner, and then make the healthy choice and decision for you. Sometimes trying to solve a, solve a problem, solve an argument in the immediate moment is challenging. Call time out. Give yourselves an opportunity, five, 10, 15 minutes, times to process and think process the information that you've heard from your partner, but also process your own thoughts and your feelings about it and to connect at another point. And then when you connect at the other point is share your accountability for how it initially went sideways. Hey, I apologize to you for my tone of voice. I apologize for pointing my finger in your face. I apologize for these things first, even before we get started and follow through with, hey, I'm looking for solutions, not to be adversarial. Another way is to also engage is to start a conversation that could be potentially argumentative, start it from the motive and intent. Hey, I would like to have a hard conversation with you, but it's positive. It's a positive conversation because look, I'm looking to resolve an issue that could be a stumbling block long term. So to prevent that, I want to hold, you know, have this conversation. Why start off with the positive nature of difficult conversations such that even if it starts to go sideways, go to the left, and you can always recount, hey, go back to the benchmark. Hey, remember, this is supposed to be a positive conversation. So let's keep that tone and energy. Again, own your own experience. Sometimes, again, when someone's coming at you with a flood or coming at you with a very heavy voice, it's the yin-yang principle. When they're high, you go low. Then as they drop, you come up and you end up in the same place. So again, uh, thank you for taking the time to listen to this episode. And I would like to ask you a service. Before, before you leave, I'd like you to like our page and like this video. I'd also like you to hit the notification button at the bottom of the screen such that you can be notified each time there's a new Ask Todd episode. 
Also, to go to uh, my Facebook page, my Instagram, or shoot me an email, because I'd like the opportunity to answer your questions. And guys, quite a few of the questions have come from ladies. I've recognized being a guy that we struggle in relationships too. I'd like to encourage you and solicit you to be a part of this process as well, more engaged. Again, because you deserve a life worth celebrating just like everyone else does. Again, bye for now. Thank you so very much. And I encourage you to subscribe to my uh, YouTube channel. But I thank you so very much again. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for very much for your time. Bye for now. Look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.